Hello everyone, I'm back again with some Conan Exile stuff. This is going to be the first video in a little build series I will be doing. This is a city that I'm working on in single player, just for my little single player adventure. My mod collection for Conan Exiles will be linked in the description box, so if you see something you like in these little series videos, make sure to check that out over on Steam. So this isn't the first city build that I've done. I didn't record any of the first build that I did because I still hadn't decided if I was going to make videos again or not. So I am going to redo that city because after all the time and effort I've spent on this one so far, I don't like that first build that I did. But anyway, the city is going to be called Folia. I'm really bad with names. I make them up on the spot. And the first one that I come up with, I have to go with because my mind will always default to that name even if I choose a different one. So yeah, Folia. This is in the jungle in the eastern part of the map. I saw this really cool jungle themed build structure set when I was browsing mods. I already wanted to do a city in the jungle area so this fit perfectly for what I wanted to do. I wanted Folia to be its own city with its own thing going on separate to what the original story has in this part of the map. But I also wanted to keep it similar with the Durketo stuff and other things that kind of come with the jungle area. Now that I've built the majority of the city, I don't think I like where I put the main entrance. But for now, it's going to be around the Penitence Crossing. That's how you say it. I don't know. I might make a different entrance on the other side just because it makes a lot more sense if you're coming from the desert, which is where the starting point is anyway. The first little spots I did in the city after the entrance was an area where you can buy some weapons and some armor if you needed a little upgrade. I'm probably going to redo it to make it a little less conformed to the edges of the area if that makes sense make it just a little more filled out and busy looking but for now this is what it looks like i'm really bad at remembering to press record after i put like the foundation and walls up and i just kind of go straight into decorating so a lot of times you will see an area that is already put together and i'm just kind of adding details like the little ivy on the walls and stuff i also made a separate area for like the tanning and like stonework kind of areas. I thought it was really cool to just kind of separate the two and it would kind of give the city a little more like movement where you'd have like a delivery system where people go to pick up like the tanning materials and take them to the armory and stuff like that. I just thought it was a nice little, I don't know, detail to the city. Falia is a huge city. I plan to make it a really big city. And I'm trying my best to kind of keep going with that. While still making sure it's like good looking and stuff like that. I wanted it to have like a main hub city vibe to it. So I definitely wanted to add this little bank area. I might make it a little different, but for the most part, I like the general layout I did for it. The main mod that I use is called Pippi. I'm sure if you're into Conan mods, you'll know what Pippi is, but it has an actual banking system that you can do with a thespian NPC. You just make it a little banker and you can, you know, stash your money away, pull out your money and things like that, like an actual bank. And so it gives this little bank area a really great added detail to it and really completes it, to be honest. And since this is going to be a busy, big city, I did make a little information area. Now this is where I initially have the main entrance, so having an information area not so like far off from the entrance made a lot of sense. But since I'm probably going to move the entrance, I'll probably keep the information center there since there is still going to be... I'm going to keep the entrance that I originally made 
but I'm probably gonna make like the main one on the other side and redo well not redo but like make another information area for that entrance as well I do have a little dialogue NPC here through the Pippi thespian thing and she is going to tell you all the general and basic information about Falia She's got a lot of text and I spent a lot of time setting up all her little dialogue boxes and stuff just because I wanted her to be like a little pamphlet saying welcome to Falia. But it's just a simple little area to get to know the city. I also wanted to add a little library. Nothing crazy, but for a city this big, not having some sort of place dedicated to literature didn't really seem right to me. Books and stuff aren't really that big in like base game Conan Exiles. I do like the idea of taking advantage of all the notes and journals that are kind of scattered across the lands. And I wanted to incorporate that and kind of add more to it. Make it so, you know, books weren't like not a thing i guess so they do have a little library and folia i didn't do anything crazy the first floor is the librarian and he gives you a little quest you can help him out and give him some materials he'll pay you for it and there's some books and stuff at the second floor i didn't show building just because it was kind of boring <laughs> i just used the pippy wallpaper set thing where you can just choose an image and make it like a wallpaper to make all these bookshelves and I just put like a ton of thespians just to fill it up but there's not really anything you can do on the second floor so that's why I didn't really keep it in the video there is a medical area as well it probably should be bigger especially since I keep mentioning how busy and big I want the city to be but for now, it's just a humble little medical spot. There's a little check-in on the first floor. I have a few filler NPCs here. And upstairs is where the patients go. And again, I have a lot of little quests scattered across the city where you can bring some of these workers and stuff, some materials, and they'll pay you or give you some items and stuff. So each little area kind of has at least one small side quests you can kind of do and that is going to be all for this first video in the folia build series these videos might be quite long just because of the sheer amount of time i'm putting into creating each area the city is going to have an entertainment area marketplace housing and even an inn so there's plenty of videos to come let me know if there's anything you'd like to see a video on, whether it's a build idea, something about a mod that I use, or a game suggestion. I really only do free to play games and usually single player. Check out my social media linked in the description box. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. Thank you so much for joining me for this video and I will see you in the next one for some more fun.